in our previous class we were doing about rectangle construction right so here we did the first one that is h a and d the second one what you have is l a and d okay the second sum you have l a and d so we will start the second sum second sum we will draw the rough figure for second sum we will draw the rough figure And the name they have given is L A N D L A N D, and then they have given L A as eight centimeter, and they have given A D as ten. What is A D? A D is a diagonal. Okay, the diagonal length they have given as ten. So this is your ten centimeter. Okay. Now see, there are two ways of doing. First, you will draw the rough figure. Then L A you will make eight. If you want, you can use the Pythagoras property and you can find the third side. You will get six centimeter. That way you can do. Or from here directly you can cut ten centimeter. Any way you can do. So I will start. First thing you will make L A as eight. So this is your L A. L A you have eight centimeter, okay. And then at L what I'm doing? I'm constructing my ninety degree. Any radius you can take, and you can draw the semicircle. And here you have one. From here you have one. Up you have. Down also you have. So this is your ninety degree. Okay. Now what you have to do from A? What you have to take? A you have to take ten centimeter. The diagonal length is ten centimeter, no? So take ten centimeter with the help of your ruler. So this is your ten centimeter. Okay, so take ten centimeter from A. Okay, diagonally you have to cut. Okay, diagonally you have to cut ten centimeter. Understood. And then what you have to do? See, this length is eight centimeter. So opposite side also will be how much? Eight centimeter. So this L A you measure that is eight centimeter. Okay, this eight centimeter you measure. Keep it on this point and cut your eight centimeter. Okay, opposite side will be equal. No, it's a rectangle, right? So opposite sides will be parallel and equal. So this is your eight centimeter. Now, what about the other side? Other side you have to measure like this. Keep it from here. Okay, the same measurement. This arc, whatever this much measurement, you have to cut it on this point. From here, okay. Whatever is this length, that you take it from with the compass and cut it from here. And then what you have to do? Join this. So this is your L A. This is your N and this is your D. And this diagonal you join. This is your ten centimeter. And then you have to write. See the measure this side, no? Because we need to find the area. So here you have the other side as. Six centimeter. 
okay as i told you you can use the pythagoras property you will get 6 cm only right so this side is how much 6 cm here also if you want you can write 6 cm and this is how much 8 cm so this is how your rectangle will be so how will you write the steps of construction the first thing you will write is draw a rough figure with the given measurements okay second thing you will write draw la equals 8 cm okay draw la equals 8 cm and then at l construct we are constructing this now we are not drawing with the protractor so you have to use the word construct okay at l Construct angle X L A equals 90 degree. Okay, at L construct angle X L A equals 90 degree. Then with L as center, no, with sorry, with A as center and radius of 10 centimeter. Okay, with A as center and radius of 10 centimeter, draw an arc to cut X L at D. Again, I am repeating with A as center and radius of 10 cm, draw an arc to cut XL at D. And then what we are doing? With D as center, radius of 8 cm, draw an arc. Then with A as center and radius of 6 cm, draw an arc to cut the previous arc at N. Or you can write with A as center and radius equals LD, draw an arc to cut the previous arc at N. Then you can uh, then what you will do? Join ND and NA. Okay, join ND and NA. So LA and D is the required rectangle. And then what you have to do? You have to write the steps of uh, uh, this one area. So this will be area will be L into D. Now what is your L here? 8. What is your breadth here? 6. So this will be 48 centimeter square. So area of the rectangle you will get 48 centimeter square. So this completes your second one. Okay. And this completes the rectangle sums. Okay. Two rectangle sums we had in the sum. This completes your rectangle sum. Now only one more sum is left out that is the squares. Okay. So before doing that we will do the example sums we will see. Example sums of rectangles we will see. Okay. So here you have the rectangle. Okay. See here they have given the example three 5.38. Okay. Construct a rectangle BEAN. BE is given as 5 cm. BN is given as 3 cm. Also find its area. So first what you will do? First you will draw BE as 5 cm. And then what we are doing? We are constructing 90 degree at B. So we keep your pointer on B. Make one semicircle type. From this point one arc. Again from this point up and from this point also up. And then what you will do? Join this. So you will get the 90 degree angle. That is X, B, E you will get it as 90 degree. Okay. After that what you have to do? On this 90 degree, how much you have to cut? You have to cut 3 cm. See the rough figure. Okay. You have to cut 3 cm. So from B you will cut 3 cm. That you will get the point N. From N how much you have to cut? This opposite side that is 5 cm. So from N you have to cut 5 cm. From E you have to cut how much? 3 cm. This opposite side. And then what you will do? Join NA and AE. So, BEAN is the required rectangle. Okay, you can see that step C how they are written. Draw the line segment BE equals 5 cm. Then at B, construct BX perpendicular to BE. This way also you can write. Or at B, construct angle XBE equals 90 degree. That way also you can write. Then with B as center, draw an arc of radius 3 cm and let it cut BX at N. Okay. Then with E and N as centers and radius of with E means you have to write 3 cm first. Okay. From E you are taking 3 cm. No. So with E and N as centers, 
draw arcs of radii 3 cm and 5 cm. Radii means plural of radius. Okay. Arcs of radii 3 cm and 5 cm respectively and let them cut at A. Join EA and NA. So BEAN is the required rectangle. And then calculation of area. Area of rectangle BEAN equals L into B square units. 5 into 3 that equals 15 square centimeter. Okay. These steps you can write in your own words or you can see this in red. So this is your first example when the length and the breadth are given. Okay. The second type of rectangle how we did? When the length and the diagonal length was given. That was the second type we had. So that also we will see. So the second type you have is construct a rectangle LIME. LI is given as 6 cm. IE is given as 7 cm. Also find its area. So first you draw the rough figure. The base that is the length is given as 6. The diagonal is given as 7. So here you have. First thing what you will do. First you will draw this length as 6 cm. The base that is 6 cm. Then at L what we are doing. We are constructing the 90 degree. So with L draw a semicircle. From this point one up. From this point one up. From here up and from here also up. And then join this. So this will give you the 90 degree angle. Okay. And name it as X L I. On, on this L X what you have to do. From here you have to cut 3.6. And from here you have to cut 7. Okay. So we will write the steps first. Draw the line segment L I equals 6 cm. At L construct L X perpendicular to L I. L X perpendicular to L I. With I as center, draw an arc of radius 7 cm and let it cut LX at E. Now with I as center, okay, I and E, both you are right now. With I as center and LE as radius, because we don't know what is the radius, they have not given, no. So you are right, with I as center and LE as radius, draw an arc. Also with E as center and Li or you can take 6 cm radius. Draw another arc. Let them meet at M. Join IM and EM. LIM is the required rectangle. And then what you have to find? You have to find the area that is L into B. So measure this. Okay, this they have not given now. So we have to measure this. So this we are getting 3.6. So area of the rectangle LIM will be L into B that is 6 into 3.6 that is 21.6 square centimeter. So this completes your rectangle sums. Okay. In our next class we will go for the square sums. So complete all the construction properly. Okay. And the activity I have explained to you clearly. Okay. So please complete the activity. Okay. You will write the heading activity Pythagorean triplets. Okay. Pythagorean triplets you will write the activity and then you have to write how many? 5 Pythagorean triplets. Okay, they have given in this uh, exercise, they have given. You can see that in your previous chapter, they have given about Pythagorean triplets. Where you have your Pythagorean uh, theorem, there they have given. Okay, you can see that. Okay, like you see, they have given some examples here, no? 8, 5 and 17 are Pythagorean triplets like that. Here also they have given. So see that from this or you can choose your own 5 things you have to write with the steps as I showed you. Okay. So complete the activity and after completing that please send it to me. To my number.